less than a year ago, we met for the first time with Irina Olevska, who is very passionate about the art law projects in Latvia and in the Baltics. So together we first we applied for the funding of Nordplus and happily carried out this summer school in arts law in the summer of 2016. But what proved to be a great success was that more and more private law firms contacted us and wanted to know, can we also apply, can we also get to these courses? And so I'm very happy to announce that we have a full pipeline of art law activities planned for year 2017, starting with the first seminar already in January, but we also already have booked up a seminar in September, so be sure to join us for any of the two in arts law. We decided to uh, make a range of seminars of training courses uh, dedicated fully to the art and cultural heritage law. Uh, the first one is planned for January and um, we gathered uh, the speakers from all the possible sectors, from state sector, academic and practical environment. Uh, speakers from Sweden, uh, Lithuania and Latvia will talk about the most topical, fundamental and highly demanded topics of the field. Uh, we are not limiting our education process by resident courses only. Uh, therefore, recently we have launched the uh, new online resource for lawyers and specialists in cultural heritage field, uh, which is called artlaw.online. Uh, this is a well-structured platform uh, which is gathering uh, expert opinions and um, discussions about the most topical uh, issues of the art and cultural heritage law. Uh, 